Imagine being able to analyze a simple blood test that can detect cancer before a tumor develops. Advancements at the Princess Margaret Cancer Center and SickKids is making it a reality. As CTV's Beth McDonnell reports, it's sparking new hope for survival. Juliet Locke and her mother, Luana, share more than a love of puzzles. They live with Lee Fromeni syndrome, a rare inherited condition caused by a gene mutation which carries almost a 100% lifetime risk of developing cancer. She always gets to put the very last piece in. Oh, that's very... not true. But now, more than ever, they're equipped to handle what lies ahead, thanks to the promising results from a study using a sophisticated blood test detecting cancer, even before a tumor or scan. So there's a little bit of that sense of, you know, why me? Why was I the lucky one to be able to um, benefit from all of this? This is my mom. Her name is uh, Julieta, and she's uh, who I named my daughter after. Julieta. Different cancers claim the lives of Luana's brother at 46, her mother at 36, and sister at 9. But for Luana and Juliet, an early detection program known as the Toronto Protocol, Yearly MRIs and other tests has proven to be a game changer. At 52, Luana has survived six cancers, including breast, lung, and thyroid cancer. And they always ask me, when is my next cancer? Dr. Raymond Kim has cared for Luana for almost 10 years and is a study co-author on the findings from the blood test. It uses technology called cell-free DNA to detect when a cancer is developing. We're able to tell you your cell-free DNA signal seems high. Looks like you're going to get a cancer quite soon. Let's investigate a little bit more uh, in depth because the worry is higher. And on contrary, if the cell-free DNA signal is low, that means the cells are not turning over very quickly. There isn't a tumor that we need to hunt for. Doctors also believe the test will eventually reduce stressful and frequent scans and hospital visits. Juliet grew up doing them regularly. At 14, she was diagnosed with leukemia. Relieving, and it was amazing to know that this is what science can do, that there, as something as little as a tiny non-invasive poke can give you so much information. Today at 17, she's in remission under the care of Dr. David Malkin, another study co-author. We can now detect cancers extremely early with this technology and that has huge implications on it. This tells us that we now have a test which should be able to be applied to any form of hereditary cancer. Sparking excitement and hope. For my kids, for their kids, and for others, too, absolutely. Piecing together the puzzle that is cancer, creating better outcomes and saving lives. Beth McDonnell, CTV News.